Hello, today we're gonna to have a look at the Daikin Madoka controller and how to use it in your home. So your Daikin Madoka controller, it's very, very simple. We've got three buttons across the bottom here. So you can turn your temperature down, you can turn the temperature up, or you can flick over to your hot water, see what temperature our hot water is. If it's low and you wanna give it a boost, you can press it again and put it into powerful mode and that will tell the unit to come on and heat your hot water up as fast as it possibly can. It shows here your little man, and you can see that the blue light is lit up to tell me that the unit's running. If this blue light turns red, then it means you've got a malfunction or a problem, and if you go to your MMI, or your main controller, you can see what malfunction that might be. I can turn my powerful mode back off, and the light should eventually go out. And if I want to turn the whole controller off, there is a button at the top just here. And I can turn it on or off from here. So the Daikin Madoka controller, really simple to use. Any settings you want to change, whether it's schedules, uh, temperatures, are all done on the actual MMI itself. And the Madoka is as a room thermostat to turn the temperature of your room up and down and your heating and hot water on and off.